metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, pin code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code. Possibilities, and who knew driving was so fun? Oh, Pin's gonna be furious at us for taking his ship. Oh, relax, Chico. He should thank me for making sure everything works. Check it out. We're here. It's Crash Island. You should probably sit. You know that's not very safe. Your steering is what's not safe. Eh, I think of it as artistic flying. Oh. So, where are we? Holy carrots! An uninhabited island all for us! Okay, we need to be prepared for what we could find in this place. Like dinosaurs or tooth fairies. Maybe I'll find confidence in our life choices. I knew it. We're right back where we started, in a heap of trouble. Not so fast. We only circled the place twice. Those hobgoblins aren't going to be found by giving up. No way! we got to catch them by surprise. I'm telling you, there's nothing around here besides us. Can't you hear how quiet it is? So what? Maybe these dinosaurs have secret powers that keep them silent. We couldn't tell. Yes, we could. Everything makes its own sound. Some as loud as you. Whether we speak, clap, or step, everything we do produces a sound. Sound can even pass through barriers. It can easily go through solid, liquid, or gas. How do you know this stuff? Some of us actually listen to Daco's lectures. Sound is made up of waves that travel through the atmosphere or through a different kind of medium. Tiny particles are moved when the action occurs, producing a wave of vibrations. Particles are needed for sound waves to travel, so we can't hear anything in the vacuum of space because there isn't anything for the sound to travel on. Oh, is that what you mean when you say I'm spaced out? I knew there was a scientific reason I couldn't hear you. Since you were elsewhere, I'll fill you in. Daco also explained that sounds can have different pitches on a scale. High or low? <laughs> I know that one. Bigger people make bigger noises, and smaller people make no, smaller No, it's about ones. wave frequency. A high frequency will make a high-pitched sound, and shorter ones sound deeper. Even though we're the same size, our voices are different, and yours is higher. How can you say we're the same height? I'm not counting your ears or your ego. Hear that? Mm. Look there! Get him! Oh, I'm pretty sure it's a hobgoblin! Well, how do you know what a hobgoblin is? I have a very like? scientific imagination! <laughs> These are some super cool wall drawings. That one kind of looks like Barry. So neat. Maybe he'll be nice and, you know, let us escape. He saved us after you went and called him a hobgoblin. <laughs> Please forgive my friend. <laughs> Don't worry, he's not mad. He just can't understand us. 
I'm Crash, and this is Sidekick. And you are? What's your name? I think he's gesturing something. Like he's telling us his name. I know. Eerie. <laughs> know what? We should probably bring him with us. Pin will be too surprised to be mad. You will go walking with us to go meet all our friends. Understand? <laughs> May I present you all from faraway lands, a hobgoblin. His name is Eerie. But I thought goblins were green. <laughs> Not that I've ever seen one. Ah, uh, pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, where are my manners? <laughs> Care for a cup of tea? You gotta hear the story of how I found him. We were running and then I got him because I'm so fast. Not how it no, was. here's Eerie how it went. Actually you were making up crazy stories about how you're taller That's than irrelevant. me, which is clearly and wrong. Also, Look at my ears. Go Look at that. It wasn't no, my not idea. True. Hey, wait huh? a sec. That's a computer. It's complicated. It's part of our modern technology. Holy carrots! Just how do you know how to use that? Even I can't figure it out. Hey, I'm talking to you. Hmm? Crash, don't you get it? Eerie doesn't seem to hear us. Yeah, he's doing what I do to Daco. Oh, he's not ignoring you, Crash. He's different. It may be that he's hearing impaired. I don't understand. His ears look like they work okay. Our auditory system, or ears, are far more complicated than they appear. <laughs> Crash, I think you should listen. There's many parts to an ear, internal and external, and they work together. We can see the outer ear, which is made of the auricle and the ear canal. The auricle catches sound waves and sends them to a section called the eardrum. The eardrum is this little membrane it processes the incoming sounds and sends them over to the middle ear. In the middle ear, we've got three bones to help us out. Their nicknames are the hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup. From there, sound travels to the inner ear. In there, we meet our ear's most important part, the cochlea. The cochlea is fascinating. That's where sounds get processed. We learn whether they're high or low, soft or loud. It processes the information for our brain. Once it goes to our brain, then we're able to understand it. Without a working cochlea, our brains can't process sound. It really is a vital organ. Oh, well. Hmm. But if he couldn't hear me talk, why didn't he just tell me that? If we aren't able to hear people talking to us, how would we know the sounds needed to respond? It's not something he would know. Our ears are just so complex. Eerie, how did you end up on the island? So he had a family and friends, and he could never understand them? Hey, do you want to go back to being alone over there? But that sounds terrible. Surely we can help him. There's a big world out there of adventures. There has to be something we can do to help. Hmm. Actually, I might know how. Scientists have invented a way to fix a cochlea that isn't working properly. It uses electrical impulses to help stimulate the cochlea. A sound receiver is placed beneath the skin, and a microphone with a speech processor is placed outside the ear. 
When sound comes to the ear, it goes through the microphone receiver and into the electrical implant. Those electrical impulses make their way to the brain. The microphone helps process the sound by teaming up with the speech processor and helping out that cochlea. That way, the brain is able to totally understand what it's hearing. This amazing device is called a cochlear implant. Holy carrots! Let's get him one of these things as soon as we can! Oh, it isn't as simple as putting on a hat crash. It's a real surgery. And it requires rehab and learning how to use it. It can be complicated. Indeed. And it's up to Eerie to decide this. Alone. Then, do you want to go back to your island, or do you want the implant? Then it's a deal! What you doing? Wanna go hear Carlin play the piano? Or hear Wally's poems? Or my personal favorite, listen to nature. That sounds great, but maybe later. Now that I've learned to hear and talk, I want to tell people my story. I can finally tell people about my whole life. <laughs> I want to hear. Me too. Well, first, I'll start off my tale by telling you the ancient lore of the hobgoblins. Oh my gosh. You mean Crash was right? Kidding. <laughs> there was once a Hungarian-American scientist named Georg von Bekesche who worked with phones. His interest in phones helped fuel his desire to learn about the human ear and how we differentiate high sounds from low sounds. That's how he found out about the cochlea and what it does. He won the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 1961.